Good morning, everyone. It has been a little while since we have been over here and putting videos out. We have been in California, hanging out with family, relaxing, enjoying the holidays, and just soaking up that beach time. And we are obviously at the ocean again, but we today, it's me and Madison. Hi. <laughs> Got a little stowaway. We are going to head over to Catalina Island today and it's kind of hard to get dogs over there so TJ is going to be hanging out back at home. Um, he actually has some family who has a place in Laguna so we've been hanging out there enjoying showers and a large bed and all those wonderful things. Um, but him and Cam are hanging out there but Madison and I are going to head over to Catalina Island and explore for like 48 hours. We're gonna stay there tonight and do some off-roading, do some diving, and everything else in between. So we're gonna go hop on the ferry and see you over there. Okay. All right, let's go. And we're off. And all of the fun and beautiful sailboats. And we are actually leaving from Dana Point, which is, I think it's the actual official Nordhaven headquarters. So we are back in Nordhaven territory. I don't, oh, I do see one actually. I see a few of them. People will walk on the docks later. As we boarded the ferry, we made sure to make our way to some good window seats so that we could enjoy the view on the ride over. On the way out of the harbor, we spotted some seals swimming around in the water, which in my opinion is a great start to the trip. I have been checking the weather for days to make sure that it would be a smooth passage, and it looks like my research has paid off. It was a nice smooth hour and a half ride there, and before we knew it, we were pulling into Avalon Harbor gathering our bags and making our way up to the hotel to get checked in and settled. So we have arrived in Catalina. We got our nice little ride up to our hotel and it is gorgeous. Look at this. So stunning. Madison keeps saying that it looks like Italy to her, which I agree, it's just like a beautiful, yeah, like a beautiful little like hillside. And now we're going to our nice little room and then I guess there's a rooftop terrace to explore and the whole town. So, uh, oh, the door's already open. This is the hallway. Okay. Here we are. Let's see how it looks. <gasps> so pretty. Oh, this, this is, is lovely. lovely. Look at our nice little place we have, Madison. This is so pretty. This is like a very um, boutique hotel. Like it's very small and cute and uh, so cute. Yes, yeah, a pretty spot in here. I think we have some nice views out the window also. The nice mountainside. Is a good view? Nice, yeah. I love it. Okay, so we are going to get rid of our bags and then figure out where our first stop is. Is it so pretty? It's so cute. Ooh, I will be soaking in that tub later. Wowzers, oh, this is stunning. Hi, Colette. Okay, so we just got changed and dressed in like 15 minutes. <laughs> I actually put my bathing suit on underneath, yeah, because I am going diving in a little bit. So I have been wanting to go dive in the kelp forest for years and it is kind of a cloudy cold day today. So hopefully they have a very thick wetsuit for me, but we're going to go head down over there. And that's in like two hours, so we have a little bit of time to explore before then. And then it's dive time. So we are in downtown in Catalina. So we're in Avalon. So Catalina has two different like main areas you can go to. I think one is called Two, two Beaches or Twin Beaches and this one we are in Avalon which is like the main downtown. The other side of Catalina is much more remote and it's for like more of camping and hiking and backpacking. 
So this is the main area. There's a bunch of palm trees and pretty string lights. And then you have the harbor right over there. Find anything good? Not that we could eat, but it all looks delicious. <laughs> We are currently on a quest for coffee. Wait, look at this cute little library. Oh, I love these. You this is their county library. <laughs> we have found our coffee. Cheers. Going to walk over to the casino building, which is like the main dive park in Catalina. It's like the casino, I think it's called the casino dive park. And then I'm gonna get into the freezing cold water and probably scream a little bit because I, I don't think I've ever gone diving in cold water before, water at least. And I was considering doing free diving instead of scuba diving, but I'm glad I booked the scuba tour because there is no way I would have no. had the motivation by myself to get into that water. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So not gonna happen. But we have a half hour to get over there and suit up. So we're gonna do a little walking around and be on our way. The super nice thing about Catalina is that it is very walkable. The diving area, it's like a 15 minute walk from where you get off the ferry at and everything is just like really, really close by. The grocery store, we walked there. Our hotel is like up the hill, which is kind of cool. It's pretty view, but everything else is like very accessible. And I think we are gonna rent a golf cart tomorrow to go a little higher, but otherwise it's nice and easy. So while Natalie is out scuba diving somewhere, I am enjoying the views, waiting for her little head to pop back up. But for now, I got my coffee, I got some green juice, and I am just enjoying the change of scenery. So here we are.
Oh! <laughs> Look how white my toes are. Oh! <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> Do I look a little bit cold? You look a little bit more than cold. You're oh, my right foot is so frozen. That was so beautiful. Yeah. The kelp, we were just like down below, looking like 60 feet up, and the kelp is so cool. It's amazing. Yes. Her. <laughs> so cute. Okay, I'm all redressed and slightly warming up. That was spectacular so beautiful just magnificent i didn't even know it could be that cool learned some awesome facts that in the winter the kelp grows a foot and a half a day in the summertime it doesn't grow so it actually grows more in the cold weather which i wouldn't have guessed but heading back to the hotel now to take a nice hot bath because my toes are still literally numb and frozen i cannot feel them <laughs> and uh, hopefully that warms them up nice and soon. Beautiful. That was exciting. And there's the harbor. And there's the town of Avalon. Look at that, laying up behind the mountain top over there. It's gorgeous. Now, this is what I was envisioning for Catalina. A gorgeous sunrise, a beautiful rooftop, and whatever the heck this thing is to enjoy it in. Well, it looks like sunrise is uh, wrapping up a little bit and we have a lot to do today. So we are going to head back down to the room and then they have a breakfast at a beautiful terrace over here pretty soon. So we can go get some food and then start the day of activities, which we're hoping to see some bison and some more things under the ocean today. And uh, it's gonna be busy, so off we go. We are back downtown. We just got dropped off from um, the hotel. They have a really nice little golf cart shuttle service. And now we are going to go get our own golf cart to go ride around and we got our coffee, Catalina coffee, really yummy. And right downtown, which is nice. And the streets are so empty still. Look at this, there's no one out here, which is beautiful. We have the ocean right over here. And the golf cart's really kind of pricey. I think they're like $55 an hour. But we'll see you're gonna do it for an hour, drive around, kind of get some views higher up while the sun is still hot because it says it's gonna get cloudy later. It's looking like it's gonna stay sunny, so hopefully it does that. But Madison and I picked the closest golf cart rental shop and set out for a drive around the town. The island limits the number of vehicles allowed on the island at any time, but golf carts are fair game which makes driving the roads much more enjoyable since you are mainly sharing the roads with other golf carts. We drove a big loop around the town and got some absolutely beautiful bird's eye views of the town and the harbor. I am also loving the fact that we ended up here during off season and during the week because we basically have the roads to ourselves, which makes it feel like our own little private island at times.
have already devoured <laughs> so much of it. I got like a veggie stuffed avocado and a salad so with chickpeas. And so I got a smoothie that looks like poop, but it just has spinach inside it of it. Like what? <laughs> it's like poop kind of. It's not very appealing, but um, we're scarfing down some food because we're heading over to our tour. We're going on like an off-roading Hummer thing. Uh, Madison's kind of scared of off-roading and heights, so that should be very entertaining for me. And hopefully this is in Buffalo, but we're gonna be there in like 20 minutes. We're like scarfing this food down and then we're gonna get over there and explore. Oh, yeah. Okay, Halvey, give, yeah. us, give us the info. Roll them, Halvey. <laughs> and so the island is bigger than people think. There's Avalon right here, this little dot. Recognize it? And then we're gonna go on this blue line looking for bison down into the watershed. And the island's bigger than people think. It's 22 miles long by about eight miles across at the fat part and half a mile across here at the isthmus. We'll peak over there at our nine o'clock now. That's uh, Saddleback Mountain and Irvine. And then Mount Baldy. was such an incredible tour guide and beyond knowledgeable. I knew that Catalina Island was famous for its wild bison, but I have to admit I was more than a little curious as to how the bison got here in the first place. Turns out a small herd of them were brought to the island to be in a movie that was being filmed in Catalina. But soon after arriving, the bison escaped their enclosure and ran free on the island. The locals came to love the bison, so now they are here to stay. We got really up close and personal to them, which was such a treat, and then continued on our wild ride off-roading adventure that was an absolute blast and filled with so many laughs. I want to just get past him. Hello. Okay, good. And they say if the tail is sticking out straight behind and he lowers his head, then he's thinking about charging. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's an animal energy, huh? Really? We are animal. Okay, don't people. be startled. Don't be startled. Here's some noise for you. Oh, bye, bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, I suppose the appropriate farewell is to say bye, son. We just had to run from the end of our tour. <laughs> Went over like 20 minutes and we are going to be getting on this little partial submarine. Okay, we're going on. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and here's the cars. Right. Watch your steps on the way down. Do we need these back? Or yeah, you go? get that. Okay, thanks. Oh, oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> Just 
does. It's like, oh, some cheese and people down there. So, pretty freaking awesome. I know, this is cool. This is, I've never been able to like, see under the ocean when I've been in the boat before. So, this is gonna be great. So, before booking this, I didn't even know this existed at all, like in the world. And I was looking at Kevin's Catalina, and this popped up, and I am so glad it did. Look, there's just, there's just kelp. <laughs> like flowing in the water and I can see it. This is so cool. They're living in beds of kelp just like this. Some people call them sugar bass for how delicious their meat tastes. And although these calico bass are so delicious, you won't find them in any restaurant. They are classified as a game fish. And they have to be at least 14 inches to be able to bring home this year. They think it takes them about eight to 10 years to get to that 14 inch mark. But calico bass have been known to live up to 30 sometimes. It's like a underwater zoo park. Yeah, it's like you're scuba diving. Oh my god, look at these fish over here. Stop it. Oh my god. Oh, here comes the food. That's why I think. Oh, oh here they underwater tour and heading back and then it looks like our boat is going to be here very soon for us to head back to California. It was so much fun. Yeah, so it's been a great trip. Fun. Thanks for joining me, Madison. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. So beautiful. And check that one off my bucket list now. <laughs> Filled two days here in Catalina, it's time to get back on the ferry and head to the mainland. I hope you enjoyed exploring Catalina Island with us. Make sure to like and subscribe to join along on all the adventures.